other two, uh, the medium and the fine, uh, I'm going to let you handle those. I'm going to go ahead and get to the calculations now. And the calculations I'm showing right here, the first one is calculate the percent TDS coffee using the equation that you got from the previous activity, and that's from the trend line of your graph of uh, refractive index N sub D, although my D needs to be sub to there, versus percent TDS coffee. So for my example, I got uh, Y equals 0.00188X plus 1.33252. And I'm just going to take that last two off uh, because of something scientific called significant figures that we don't really talk about in this class. But um, now, uh, if you remember, so my refractive index was my y value, and my x value was percent TDS uh, coffee. And uh, what I've got is I thought I had enough space there. Let's see. So um, my measurement for my coarse coffee was 1.3339. That was my refractive index. So 1.3339. And you can see that's got four decimal places. And that's part of the reason why I've got four decimal places here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to sub that in for my y value equals 0 0.00188x plus 1 point, and I'll try and stay on the page here, 3325. And then I want to solve for my x because my x is going to be my percent TDS total dissolved solids coffee. I'm going to subtract. Uh, my value here uh, from both sides that gives me one point three 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 nine minus one point three three two five that gives me zero point zero zero one four and that's going to be equal to this side over here And then I can divide through by this number 0 0.00188 on both sides to solve for my x value. So I divide that by 0 0.00188 and I get 0 0.7 for beyond beyond bond. And because I only have two digits here, I am just going to go with 0 0.74. And that is my percent TDS coffee. My percent total dissolved solids of my coffee. Estimated using the handheld refractometer. And uh, I went with 0.74. The next digit was a 4. Had it been a 5, I would have rounded the 0.74 up to 0.75. We will follow basic rounding rules here. Um, now, that took up a little more space than I thought, but I think we can still see the next step. It says calculate the mass of the brew M coffee. And for that, it's going to be mass of Clever Dripper filter ground coffee. For me, that was 277.9 minus mass of Clever Dripper filter, 254.2. I get 277.9 minus 254.2, 23.7 grams. And I was shooting for uh, 23.3 grams there. Um, so not too bad. Um, calculate mass of solution, uh, my mass of brew. Oh, sorry, that should say calculate the mass of coffee. 
it looks like I was cutting and pasting something here. Calculate the mass of the brew. And uh, that's going to be mass of coffee cup brew 471.0 grams minus mass of coffee cup, which is 151. And I get for that 471.0. Minus 151, I get 320, technically 0 0.0 grams, because I do have 0 0.0 on both of those. Of brew, I have 23.7 grams of coffee, or ground coffee. And this is actually, <laughs> I'm actually very excited doing this, because uh, these, these calculations that lead to the percent extraction PE are pretty cool for me because they work very well, surprisingly well, I'm happy to say. All right, so now we have percent TDS coffee, that's 0 0.74. And I have my, ma oh, I have my mass of my brew, which is 320.0 grams. And I'm going to, saw, and what I want to know now for number four is the mass of the coffee solids in the brew. And that's going to be my x. And I can cross multiply. I'll write this out down here. So it's going to be 0 0.74 over 1 equals x, my mass of my coffee solids in brew, over uh, my mass of my brew times 100%. And that 100, I'm just going to say 100x on the top there. That goes on the top. So when I cross multiply this out, I get uh, 0 0.74 times 320 equals 100x. Divide both sides by 100. And my x, well, let's multiply this out. 0.74 times 320 divided by 100. I get 2.368. And um, even though I only had uh, two digits right here besides the zero, I'm going to keep all of these just for now. And yeah, I'm still on the page there. Grams of coffee, solids, and brew. So out of that coffee that we started with, which I still have right here, and this is what it looks like afterwards. Yuck. No, still a lot of coffee in here because we didn't extract it all because it was so coarsely ground. Uh, so that actually still smells pretty good. Um, okay, so now our last step, which is our percent extraction. For our percent extraction, we need our coffee solids removed from the dry, dry coffee uh, grounds, which is the coffee solids in brew. Right, everything that came out of the coffee beans, that's this part, went into the brew, that's this part. So that's why it's going to be my 2.368 over my mass of dry grounds. And did I call it that? Um, I called it mass of coffee before, and we'll probably have to fix that. Um, so my mass of dry grounds is my. 23.7 grams and so now I'm just going to divide these two multiply times 100 I get uh, let's see 2.368 divided by 23.7 times 100 I get 9.99 blah 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 percent and uh, I'm going to round that to two digits so 10 percent is my uh, percent extraction which is miserable right that's not going to be good coffee if I come back to my here 
So I wanted 15%. I wanted a percent total dissolved solids coffee of 1.3 to be in this sweet spot. I'm shoo, way down here at 0.74, which means that I'm way down here as well at 10%. So this coffee is not what we would consider good coffee. We expected that. That's part of this experiment uh, is to make coffee that is not ideal. And really, we want to keep making better coffee. Try the um, next one is the medium grind. That should take us closer to this, maybe even into this spot. That'll be interesting to see where you end up for the medium and the fines. But you should come start coming up here somewhere, at least in this plot, right? We're not even in this plot right now. To, um, and we will see what, how it works out.